Welcome to the West Virginia University Extension Service video series on frequently asked canning questions. My name is Hannah Fincham. With me today is Janice Hevner. We are both extension agents for West Virginia University. Today we will be discussing a few of the common things that may go wrong when canning and also how to prevent or fix them. Janice, I think the first thing we should do is check the seal. That's right, Hannah, and the first thing that you do when checking your seals is you want to press the lid with your finger like so, and if it pops back up like this one did, it's not a properly sealed canned item. A properly sealed jar will have a hollow sound and not pop when pressed or tapped. If you have let your jars cool for 12 to 24 hours and have noticed that some of your jars did not seal, there may be several reasons. That's correct. An imperfect seal could be caused by chips or cracks in the jar sealing surface, particles left on the mouth of the jar, or failure to properly prepare or tighten lids and rings. To prevent an imperfect seal, visually examine the top of the jar and run your finger along the surface to ensure there are no chips or cracks. After filling the jar with product, use a damp paper towel to wipe off any particles that may remain. Also, Hannah, when you're preparing your lids, you want to start by pouring boiling water over them and then before applying the lids, before applying to a jar, you want to ensure that you have tightened it at a finger length height. If you do all of these preventive methods and your lid still does not seal, ensure that the proper processing time and method was used for the product. Improper processing can also cause an imperfect seal. That's true. It's also good to know that products with imperfect seals may be safely reprocessed within 24 hours of the first processing or they can be refrigerated and used within two to three days. That's good to know. Now let's talk about the loss of liquid from glass jars during processing and why does this happen? Well, the most common causes for glass jars losing liquid like this one during processing mm -hmm. are sudden drops in or fluctuating pressure in a pressure canner, jars not covered with enough water in a water bath canner, and failure to work out air bubbles or food packed too tightly in jars. To prevent loss of liquid, we need to maintain a constant pressure throughout the processing time in a pressure canner and do not force cool your canner. Allow the pressure to drop to zero naturally. Remove the weight or pet cock and wait 10 minutes before opening the lid. Well, that's great to know. And also in a water bath canner, you want to ensure that jars are covered with one to two inches of water. For either processing method, leave the appropriated headspace so that liquid from the jars does not boil over during the processing time. Also, be sure to use a plastic spatula and bubble remover to work out the air bubbles before applying the lids and processing. Yes, that's all great information. And Janice, before we go, I would really like to talk about spoilage. Spoiled home canned foods can cause very serious illness or even death. This means it is not only important to can using appropriate methods and techniques, but also to know how to identify and handle spoiled canned food. Absolutely. Spoilage in home canned food can be caused by incorrect processing time, temperature, pressure, and imperfect seals, or a poor selection of product. To help prevent spoilage, use approved canning methods, follow directions carefully, and choose products at the peak of their freshness. The most common signs of spoilage include swollen lids, broken seals, unnatural odors, spurting liquid when opening the jar, and cotton-like mold growth on the top food surface and underside of the lid. This mold can be white, blue, black, or green. If you notice any signs of spoilage, take great care to dispose of them properly. If the suspected metal cans or glass jars are still sealed, place them in a heavy garbage bag, close, and place the bag in a regular trash container or dispose in a nearby landfill. If the suspected cans or jars are unsealed, opened, or leaking, they should be detoxified before disposal. To learn how to properly detoxify unsealed products, 
suspected of spoilage, contact your local Extension office or visit the National Center for Home Food Preservation's website at www.nchfp.uga.edu. Today you have learned some of the most common things that could go wrong while canning. Now you know how to prevent imperfect seals, loss of liquid while processing, and spoilage. For more canning information, visit our website at fh.ext.wvu.edu and click on Food and Nutrition. Thanks for watching our video series on frequently asked canning questions. West Virginia University Extension Service. People in your community. Knowledge at your doorstep.